So uh, this is my problem with the keyboard and mouse. So I've got my very nice professional looking setup with white lights. And then the keyboard and mouse turn on. And they're rainbow colored. And the thing is, they'll remain rainbow colored all the way up until I'm logged in. So as you can see, currently still rainbow colored. Now when I log in, it will take a while before the lights eventually turn to the white, which is how I've set them. So they won't turn white until the Synapse software has completely loaded. Up until that point, they'll continue cycling through colors. Now I have set the white lights to be the default profile and uh, I've also checked on the other hardware profile as well. Let's see if Synapse just started up in a moment. The lights will go for half a second. And there you go. Now they're finally white. Now the other issue is if I lock the computer like so, you'll see they go into the same rainbow colors again. Unlock it again. I've got a simple tool here to unlock my computer without having to use the keyboard there, just to make this video quicker. Now, I'll show you how the Synapse software is set up. Actually, I might get rid of this corner. Put people on the screen now. Let me just stop the camera so I can see. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, so. Take the keyboard for example, I have my desktop profile set up with the lighting set to static white. And if you open the hardware profiles, onboard memory, desktop is there, which is this profile. I don't know what else I can try. Um, I've done, done a bunch of things, but as far as I'm concerned, this is a firmware issue with the keyboard. I also believe this isn't a fault as much as a design flaw. Uh, because the mouse has the same issue. So if I go and uh, have a look at the mouse, uh, you'll see the exact same setup where the lighting is set to static white uh, and the default profile called desktop is set on the onboard memory. And yet, as you saw when I start up the computer or lock it, it goes into rainbow colors. Now, my own theory about this is that this is caused by the keyboard and mouse requiring the Synapse software to be communicating with it for the lighting. And while the computer is starting up or while the computer is locked, the firmware can no longer, or the firmware on the keyboard and mouse can no longer communicate with Synapse software and goes back into its default rainbow color. Anyway, that's my issue with it. Um, I'm hoping that uh, Razor will come up with a firmware update to resolve this. Uh, I know that rainbow colors is their thing, um, but I bought this keyboard and mouse not for the rainbow colors, but for the hardware itself, the quality of you know, the uh, analog PDT keys, and uh, the mouse was highly recommended um, to be similar to the G902 that I had previously. Um, so really, I didn't buy these for the lighting. I bought these for the hardware itself, and uh, I do like the white lighting. It also goes very well with my current setup. Um, as you can see, when it is white, uh, it looks quite nice because you've got the uh, light bar on my PC matched with the light bar at the bottom of the keyboard uh, and the, you know, the bottom of the mouse. It looks very nice when it's like this, but uh, you know, any other time it uh, doesn't match. Uh, not only that, um, you might think, oh, well, you know, it's only an issue because uh, the computer is just starting up or when it's locked. But I keep my computer locked quite frequently. Um, anytime I'm away from my computer, I lock it. It happens quite often. Um, it's quite busy here, so there's quite often people coming in and out. Uh, so I like to keep my computer locked. Um, and uh, I'd rather not have it changing colors in the rainbow. I would rather it just stay like it is now, uh, where it's just white. Um, anyway, so yeah, um, this video was made to send to um, Razer, but uh, this is also just going up on my channel since that's the easiest way to send it to them. Um, and I may end up actually making a, a further video about this if Razor can resolve the problem um, because I think uh, I'm not the only person who wants this 
this functionality to be able to have the default profile that you set on the hardware uh, to be the default profile always. I think that's, uh, it would make sense for that to be the case. Uh, I see no technical reason why it has to cycle through colors. Um, I'm pretty sure with a firmware update that this should be able to be resolved. Anyway, uh, that's the video. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, to you Razor, please, please take this, uh, you know, please take this into account that uh, this is a, you know, a pretty reasonable request.